Okay. Now in today's session we will see how this electrical scheme drawing of relay and protection panels are used for identification and rectification and also for troubleshooting in the uh, control room by any electrical engineer or electrical graduates of power grid or any other electrical utilities. This drawing is applicable for all of the power grid substation as well as all of the state utilities. Everywhere this drawing will remain the same. If you look at this drawing, basically the initial few phases will describe about the various types of protection relays that are available in this feeder or for wh whichever lines or feeders or transformer this drawing refers to. Now after initial some pages you will see this uh, index page and in this index there is again some numbers written on the left hand side which will show the page number that you have to refer for particular things. For example if you go to page number 6 or 7 then you will see the DC supervision circuits or line VT circuit respectively. Now if you uh, go one level up then you see that the next page there are some contacts and some other symbols are shown but you don't have to remember these things because only remember one thing all the electrical scheme drawings are made for de-energized condition that means the all the contacts that are shown in the electrical scheme drawings are for the de-energized case when breaker is in open condition. Now this drawing or this particular case which we are referring here is uh, for one transmission line and one transformer dia that means in this dia one side there is a transmission line and another, another side there is an ICT or a transformer. Now if you remember from uh, the basic that whenever a transmission line comes to substation the first element that we encounter is LA followed by CVT, wave trap, line isolator and then the bay equipment. Similarly for ICT the first element nearest to the ICT will always be LA followed by uh, isolator which is exactly same as line isolator for isolation of ICT in case of any maintenance work followed by the bay equipment. Now if you look at this drawing you don't have to remember these things or for like LA CVT wave trap because these are not shown in the scheme drawings and these are of very less Im uh, importance for us in troubleshooting cases. There are some wiring definitely from CVT and wave trap that we will see in the later cases. We don't have, uh, we will not refer at present for line isolator also because it is applicable for step protection only and we will see later on when we refer to step protection then what are the importance of line isolator and how line isolator contacts are used. For present case we are referring only to the main equipment inside the bay and that is CT and if you see this, this is actually a D type scheme in which there is one line connected to bus 1, another ICT connected to bus 2 and this a tie bay joins both elements and now if you look here there are three cities one in each bay bay one for line bay two for ICT and this tie bay this P1 and P2 of the CT are shown as per the actual P1 P2 in the field and now you remember that if this is uh, this CT is used for line protection then you have to form the star point for the line protection on the uh, P2 side or the corresponding to that in the secondary will be S2 or S3 depending upon the tapping. Similarly for transformer the star point have to formed on the P2 side or the in terms of secondary the S2 or S3 depending upon your configuration or depending upon your uh, CT ratio. Similarly for bus bar we have to form the star point on the P1 side for this CT that means 3 CT which is connected to bus 1. And for the next CT also which is connected to bus 2, we have to form the star point on the P1 side. And likewise for the tie CT, that means whichever core is used for transmission line, we have to form the star point on P2 side. If it is used for transformer protection, then we have to form the star point on P1 side. Now if you look at the next sheet, in this next sheet, this CT uh, different code will be mentioned in your scheme drawing. And if you look at this, there are one CT, this is uh, CT number third. And in this city there uh, are 5 cores, core 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is an standard designation in the power grid that always the first 2 cores that is core 1 and core 2 are used for bus bar protection followed by core 3 which is used for metering purpose and then core 4 and core 5 is used for main 1 and main 2 protection respectively or somewhere main 2 and main 1 like that. Similarly for tie bays and the next main bay, in the next main bay you know that the uh, main and tie bay after this uh, main bay of the main city then the tie bay and followed by the main bay of the adjacent element that is for ICT 
the designation will remain the same first two code for uh, main one main two third for metering if applicable and fourth and fifth will be used for transformer protection but now we are limiting ourselves only up to trans, uh, transmission line now you'll see here what is happening is core 5 is used for main one protection and this ct is basically if you look at this number this is 352 and 352 means main bay this is bay number third and 52 is breaker that means main bay ct core 5 is used for main one protection and similarly this is tie if you look at here 3 4 5 2 that means 3 and 4 is for tie bay designation 52 is breaker and in this tie bay the score 5 is used for main one protection that means score 5 of tie ct will be paralleled with core 5 of main ct and then a single wire will be connected to your uh, relay and now we will see how this is being done so now if you refer this page it is clearly mentioned here that core 5 main one protection and you if you see in this rectangle there is a number written over here is 9 so you have to go to page number 9 and here now this is our page number 9 which was written last thing this is page number 9 now in this page number 9 if you look at here there are two cities one city of main bay core 5 the city ratio which is underlined here is 1000 that is main bay core 5 with tapping 1000 by 1 similarly this is tie city 434 city and core 5 again with 1000 by 1 city ratio and now how it is done here if you look at main bay uh, our p1 or p2 whichever it is uh, side is mentioned here it is for line side so we form the star points on this side it is p1 so we have formed the star points on this s1 side similarly for tie also it is p1 and we have formed the star points on s1 side now we have four wires of main bay that is r phase y phase b phase and neutral four wire of tie phase that is r phase uh, tie city that is r phase y phase b phase and neutral and now we have to parallel each and everything so r phase of tie city r phase of main city it is connected here that is parallel and now this comes to our relay tb number or inside the relay panel tb number one similarly y phase of main city y phase of tie city connected together and one single wire comes to the relay b phase of main city b phase of tie city parallel together one single wire comes to the tb and finally the neutral of main and tie city and now this single wires of this uh, wire of which comes to the tb it will go directly to the relay here one important thing that you have to remember is that this uh, uh, some symbols like this phi type this symbols generally indicates disconnecting type tb and th uh, here the tb number one three five and seven it designates that the tb in, on which r phase y phase b phase and neutrals of main and tie cities parallel together are connected then these uh, wires will be connected either directly or through a block uh, test block to our dis respective relays these test blocks are used for testing purpose we will discuss it on later uh, days now from the first page you remember that this core one is used for main one protection as well as for disturbance recorder that means this ct if it was used only up to main one protection then we have to uh, terminate this ct at this point only we don't have to make it a series for next element but since it is used for main one as well as for disturbance recorder so we will take all this wire from here and then we go to page number 41 which is written over here for disturbance recorder and if you see here then in this page if you look at here it is mentioned that 41 to disturbance recorder and now if you come to page number 41 then you have to see that last page was page number 9 so which wire is coming from page number 9 this wire this wire is coming from page number 9 and where it is connected it is connected inside the uh, disturbance recorder 
Now, here one uh, important thing to remember is that disturbance recorder are not supplied nowadays at standalone units because this is inbuilt in most of the numerical relays. So, power grid uh, is now not uh, purchasing any disturbance a disturbance recorder at standalone unit for 220 kV and 400 kV lines. But uh, these disturbance recorders are used only for 765 kV voltage level. Now, the second thing, if you remember the connection of main one, then this connection for main two will be exactly the same. Connection for LVB relay will be the same. So this is only for CT. Next thing is what? Next thing is CVT. But before going to CVT, we will limit uh, ourselves today only up to CT connection and some fair ruling that is important for uh, remember. Remember one thing that. Uh, I have already explained last slides uh, or last session also that these CT wires are ferruled or designated as A, A, A and then followed by any number. This number basically is for identification only but this A is very important. Whenever a ferrule is marked with or starts with A that means it is for main protection. So for any ferrule which is for main 1 protection or main 2 protection or transformer or differential protection it will always starts with A. If a ferrule of CT wires starts from B that means it is used for any backup protection. Similarly if a ferrule starts with C or D that means it will be for metering purpose or for measurement purpose. If a ferrule starts with E that means it is for CVT or it is for voltage. We will see in the later uh, sessions how these CVTs are connected inside the relays. Thank you.